Hi, so today we're going to set up the AC controllers from Galcon. So the first step would be to ensure that all your wiring is done. M will be your master valve. The two C's are your commons. And then the AC, you'll have two black wires from your AC transformer. Go ahead and plug those in. It does not matter which one goes in which slot because it's alternating current. And then your rain sensor, if available, you can just unscrew those two screws, take the jumper out, and screw that in. And then your control wires would be on for valve one, two, through six. All right, so to program the unit, you can plug in the AC power from your transformer that comes in the box, or another option is to go ahead and install your battery backup, and you can program with that. So we're going to look at the bottom of the unit. You can see the arrows line up. It's very stiff because we want to make sure that we maintain that waterproof seal. You can see the little O-ring. We're going to set that to the side. Pull out our battery connection. And we're going to hook in our 9 volt. And slide it gently back in. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up the tip of this handle with the arrow. Make sure we get a good push in there and a turn and it locks in place. Now, when we turn the unit back over, we do, we do see that the little AC plug-in is flashing, telling us that we don't have AC power. But the buttons we're going to use to program this are the enter button, the minus button, plus, and then the right arrow. And so to get into, in, to get into adjusting the time, we're going to go right arrow, which is going to get the 12 flashing, and then we're going to hit the minus button until we get to 1 p.m., and then we're going to go to right arrow, get the minutes to flash, and we're going to go ahead and set that to 115. And then we're going to go right arrow, and we're going to hit the plus button a couple of times, move that arrow across to make it Wednesday. Then we're going to go ahead and hit the enter button. That puts up the little valve insignia. We're working on valve number one, which is what we want to work on. So we're going to hit enter. The duration on this one is two minutes. So we will go ahead and what we want to do is set this for 20 minutes. So we want to right arrow, that's hours, right arrow, that's minutes. And then we want to hit the plus. So we want valve number one to run for 20 minutes. That's it. And then we're going to hit enter. Then we want this to run every two days. So we're going to Go right arrow, not Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can see the little arrows jumping across when we get to Sunday. It's going to come up. Now, this is the cycle, which is what we want to do. We don't want once. We want once every two days. So these are all minutes as they go along. And we're just holding the plus sign until we get to days. And we want this to run every two days for 20 minutes. That's correct. So we hit our enter button. We want start number one. We're going to start this tomorrow at 5 a.m. So we, the edit button is there. And then we're going to hit the minus button until we get to 5 a.m. And then right arrow where we can edit our minutes. We go back up until we see. 5 a.m. And then if we wanted to delay this for two more days or three more days, we could put that in here, but we don't. So we're good to go there. We're going to hit enter. So we only have one start time, 5 a.m. Our rain sensor is off because we don't have a rain sensor installed. That's fine. And then our manual rain off button is there. So if we needed to shut it down for a few days because of rain, we could do that here.
All right, so now we're back to our home screen where we have the time. So let's go and set valve number two. So we're gonna press enter. That gets us into valves. Right arrow gets a little arrow flashing. Plus button moves us over to valve two. And we're going to hit the enter button again. Now this is the duration for valve two. And we wanna make this duration 30 minutes cause it's a little bit bigger. Plot, let's say. And so we're just going to hit the plus button until we get to 30 minutes. And then we're going to hit enter. Now on valve number two, let's say we want to do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, just for an example. So we're going to right arrow. So we have Monday and we're going to hit a plus button. Then a second flashing arrow shows up. And we're going to right arrow. That moves the flashing arrow to Wednesday. Then we're going to hit a plus button to bring up a third flashing arrow. Plus, oh, I messed up. So let's go minus, minus, minus. So we have to clear it when we mess up like this, and that's okay. Get back to Monday, and then we hit plus, and then right arrow. That moves the flashing to Wednesday. Hit plus, and then right arrow again. Moves the flashing arrow to Friday, and then we hit plus because the flashing arrow will never save. So we have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday running for every 30 minutes. We press enter, start time one. We do want to do that, so we right arrow, and let's make start time one 530 so it doesn't overlap the other valve. So we hit the plus arrow until we see 5.30. Right arrow and plus, plus, plus until we get to 5.30. And then once we're there, we can go ahead and hit enter. We don't need to start time two. Don't need to start time three. Don't need to start time four. And we don't have a rain sensor wired in, so we're going to leave that off and we don't have a manual button, so that's good to go. Thank you so much for watching, and hit, please do hit the like and subscribe button. Like button if you like the video, subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. Helps us to continue to produce videos like this, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thanks.